All right, so as you can see, today we're opening a Goodwill blue box from Lake Worth, Florida. So I opened the box, but that is all that I have done. Um, I ordered this back on August 20th. So it has been waiting for me to open it all that time. So here is our first look, and I'll just start pulling pieces out. We'll see what we have. I'm in a different um, filming location. I decided to try out my diamond. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so first we have this gold tone piece um, with all of these hammered details. Definitely a statement necklace. There is some wear. Um, I don't see any maker's mark or anything. Oh, look, all of these are numbered so that you know what order they go in. Isn't that clever? So maybe um, somebody made this, but regardless, it does. it, it is a neat um, statement piece in okay condition, so I'll do five on that one. Then we have this cute little guy. Poke out, and let's see. I like these little blue danglies, but it doesn't look like it's in very good condition. Um, no, it's really, it's not in good condition at all. So we're just going to put that in craft. And actually I have a rhinestone craft that I'm working on. So I think I'll put it in that. All right. So we have this gold tone piece with hammered gold and then red, green, and pink. I'm just going to do three on that one. I'm going to put earrings to the side. All right, this is just plastic, um, a three-tiered necklace. My tray is loud. <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't know, that's not in fantastic condition really. Um, and it's just, it's just plastic. So I think I'm just going to put that in craft. Right, here we have a pretty rhinestone bracelet with a toggle clasp. I don't know why I'm having focus issues with my phone lately. All right, but we're missing a stone there and there. So I guess this is destined for the rhinestone craft as well. Next, we have a necklace of green, like a seafoam green, and then little disco balls and faceted clear danglies, which is very nice. Uh, no maker's mark but I'll do five on this piece, two tiers, nice. Oops. Let's see what we can untangle. All right, let's take a look at this one. It's interesting. So it is a Clamper bracelet. The um, the safety part does not clasp too well, but it's got some pearls and this blue flower, and then a sparkly flower. It's really cute. Uh, oh, what's it say? Grace, Corinthians fifteen ten. Um. So yeah, this this I'm just gonna be honest with you. That doesn't clasp too well. So we're just gonna do four. Let's see, what do we have going on here? This, I wanna see what this is. I think I saw some kind of maker mark um, right here. Juicy Couture, very nice. So yeah, you can, you put it in there so it's a little bit um, of an adjustable, you know, has this 
belt look to it. Um, I'm going to do eight on that. All the rhinestones are there at the buckle. This one, oh, I thought maybe it was missing, but no, those are just uh, clear and then faceted or like solid, faceted, solid, faceted. Uh, just two for that one. Uh, this is just going to craft. Where's my craft? This is a memory wire bracelet in silver, gold, and like, yeah, like a dark silver. Three dollars. See if I can untangle this mess. I think that is really what it looks like. Just a mess of seed beads. I'm gonna put that in craft. Right here we have some faux pearls, which um, the clasp is kind of grody. So I'm just gonna put that in craft. They're, they're not even tied between, so I feel like that's an accident waiting to happen. These are just plastic. Okay, I'm gonna check my camera settings. All right, I changed the setting on my phone and I'm hoping that our focus issue will be gone now. Goodness, that was frustrating me. Um, so, I mean, these are just plastic. They're nothing fantastic, but a necklace with two strands, I'll do $2. Here is a cute little pendant. Um, is that supposed to be? Yeah, the back of a giraffe. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So I don't see any maker's mark, but I'm going to do five on that. Super cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, if I solve my camera focus issue, I'm going to be so relieved. You have no idea. Like, I haven't done a video in a while because I was getting so frustrated with my camera not focusing, it was driving me insane. All right, so here we have a wooden butterfly with wood beads and it comes up to this barrel clasp. That's a nice condition, I'm gonna do five on that. Um, here we have another wooden piece with like a, a piece, oh no, it's a turtle. I thought it was a dove, that cute little turtle. So stretchy, the stretch seems okay on it. I'm gonna do three. What in the world is this? It is an express piece. And so it's a necklace that comes down into these two bars. Um. I think it's just kind of maybe a little dirty. It's an okay condition. I'll do three. Here we just have a like brassy toned toggle bracelet. Two. This is just Claire's a magnet clasp that is catching everything. Let's see, can we get it out? Oh, that was not, the Claire's was attaching to this. So this is um, all just plastic and very cheap. That's going to craft. Uh, this is just going to craft. Let's see what this big mamma jamma is. Looks pretty. So yeah, it just clamps together like so and all these beautiful purples, lavenders. I think that it's missing a stone there. I think it's just 
anything else? Yeah, it's, I think it's missing like all of those stones. So unfortunately, I'm gonna put that in craft, but that is really beautiful. Hopefully somebody wants to rescue it. And I'm just not quite sure about this hinge either. Like I feel like something was supposed to go in these holes that's not there anymore maybe, so definite craft. Here we just have a shell stretch bracelet, $2. Another big bracelet that's, ooh, yeah, craft. Oh, this is the serenity prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Two dollars. Here we have an Alex and Ani bracelet with the letter S, I believe, 2015, has all the dangles here. So I will do five on that. And this has cute little AB stones in the middle, um, but it's on this cord, which is not in good condition. So putting that to craft. Same with this piece, which is just full of verdigris, I think. So let me just check for any maker, anything. It looks like it's broken too. Yeah, here's the clasp area. That is going to craft. Here is a pretty red flower pendant. Is that a maker? No. My eyes deceive me. But very cute. Three dollars. I can't believe I'm untangled here. Let's see. Do we get this big one out? Yes. Yes, we did. All right, so here we have these big wood flower type things on a seed bead necklace. Very long, like that would hang down. Nice. I'm gonna do five on that one. It's not in bad condition at all. All right, $5. get out of this mess. Great. This is why I have a tray to capture all of the little bits that uh, fall to the bottom. So look, there's, oh look, I think I have the stones from that bracelet. So I'm gonna have to see if I have them all. Maybe they all just popped off in transit. All right, let's take a look at this ring. It's cute. I don't have my mandrel on me, but does this have any marks? I would be surprised if it does. I think it does. Let me see. Oh, it just says NV, which I I think that means it's an Avon ring. It feels like an Avon ring. I'll do five. Here we have a cute little toggle bracelet with a heart toggle clasp. And these are cold to the touch, so I'm gonna do five on that. I think they're precious, semi-precious stones. Tree of Life, Craft. This feels very really cheap. A Christmas tree pendant. It's kind of funky and fun. I'll do three on that. Silver with gold balls. Oh, I 
just want stuff to come loose. Uh, tangled. All right, we're going to detangle off camera and I'll be back. All right, so all of this, and that is what I set aside earlier, is just really craft. I was thinking like, you know, I think I had this at like $2 and $2, two, like I'm, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw all of this jewelry, including this bracelet, which you saw earlier, and those stones, um, into, I'll just put it back in the box and I'll weigh it. And we're going to do that as a craft lot for $10. So whoever emails me first, dale at flippinfiasco.com can have all of this jewelry for $10 plus shipping, which will depend on how much it weighs and where you live. So I think that is the best way to go here. All right, so I have my scale here. We're just gonna put this box back on. I managed to get all of the jewelry in this bag. And then I kept this in all of the um, little tiny rhinestones are going in there too. And let's see what it weighs. <laughs> so it is 3.34 ounces, three pounds, 3.4 ounces. Um, so as I said, $10 to the first person to email me, dale at flippinpiasco.com. These are the remaining items that I pulled out to sell. <laughs> We've got, oh, I want to turn my thing. Um, this is kind of a neat pendant with these pink rhinestones. Oh, I see it's missing one. I think I put that somewhere else. Um, but it's on like this kind of coated leather cord. I lost my fingernails, by the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought that was kind of a neat piece. This one, this uh, like shell present in the midst, got all these seed beads on it, very pretty. This is um, heavy, it's gotta be some kind of stone. Um, they're very pretty. I'm still learning my stones, so I don't know what that is. This is a cute little stretch bracelet that's got all these, you know, the rose gold and regular gold, and then it had this Ermish tag on it, which I looked up and I think they sell for $25. So I'm gonna do 10 on this one. I realized I haven't said prices. I'm thinking just um, like five, five and eight. And then we've got this nice brooch with all these different colored stones on it. I did not see any kind of maker's mark, but I'll do five on that one. I'm loving that my camera's focusing, it's so exciting. Uh, this is actually two strands of, let's see, is it gonna come into focus? There you go, Sarah Coventry. And this multi-chain or multi-link. And there's two of them um, tied together. So they're kind of nice and long then. And then just this brassy tone chain, which I pulled out that I could maybe use with something else. The, here, wait, let me get this stuff in here. So we've got this pair of earrings, which I just thought was a lot of fun. Um, I'm not sure, they are cold to the touch. Um, but yeah, I thought they were neat, so I'll do five on those earrings. And then this I pulled out, I have a gemstone craft lot that I'm putting together. So I pulled that out for that lot. And then this earring has the screw back. So I felt like I needed to take a closer look at it. It did seem attracted to a magnet though. Uh, I don't know what that black stone might be, but I just felt like I, I didn't just want to toss it into the craft lot. Um, we've got this pretty ring. I don't think that I had shown you that before, um, which I'll do four on. Let's see. Let me see if I can get it on. I think it's probably about a seven, but I'll put that on the screen. And then check this out. Do you think that is a real... Um, Chanel earring. 
unfortunately I only have the one, but I don't know. It doesn't seem to be like terrible quality. So I thought there's, there's a chance. And I think people like to repurpose these as button covers. The only thing is I don't see any kind of mark on the back, which makes me suspicious. So I'll have to research that a little bit more. But I believe that that rounds out our lot. And thank you so much for being here. I will catch you next time.